I'll use this. We'll wing it. I'll use this. <coughs> Tie Palomar knot. I'll do a Palomar knot, right? Yep. That's what I want. I forgot how to do it. Go. Palomar knot. This is the back of That's my knot. That's my knot. That's my knot. I don't have a hook with a closed eye, so I don't know what you're saying. I'll use this. All right, now I've got to get the hook in through the thing, right? That's the back. Get your needle. You can put the uh, lid yes. solder around the head to keep it. I don't do it that way. Guys do it. But wait. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. I said, yeah, guys do that. They put split shots in there too sometimes. Right. Try this together. You guys can see what I'm doing sitting there? Mm hmm. Make the rigging needle. Rigging needle. No, I bought it. Are you tied to the coat hanger? All right, from the back, from, from the anal vent. Right there. Perfect. Oh. Ouch. I tried doing this when I was alive. It's a little difficult, but you can. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, <laughs> you know, I mean, you have them on, on the beach, I would rig them alive. You just put them in ice water at the bottom of the cooler. It slows them down, and you can do it. Uh, another way is to throw a little bit of water and just one cigarette button there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> They'll die right away. At home, if I'm going to rig them tomorrow, I'll just put them in the freezer. I'll give them like a nice painful pain to death. I'll show them the freezer, and the next day I'll do it. But on the beach, I'll rig them alive. I'll put them in the ice water, like I say, because I knock them down. And then I'll just do it. They might be with me a little bit, but what are you going to do? I hate to be any of them. Do you crack the vertebrae on these? We're, and we're getting there. Sorry. <laughs> we're rushing. All right, I'll show Yeah, you do. All right, you pass the line through. Uh, is that, does that go through the mouth or not? Yeah, it's from in, through the oh. vanal, through the, right through the mouth. <coughs> now you got to try to get this hook in there. Now, with this thing on the back, it's going to be a little more difficult, but we'll get it. You just force it in there. Good. No, it reminds me, I have to go for my colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right there. There's the back hook, right? Now, here's the hard part. Where's the other hook? Show right there. It could be under the cardboard. Under the cardboard in front of me. Got it. Okay. Now, we're going to want to attach this line in, in front of this ball here. This ball acts as a stop. This stop is what keeps the, the, this knot from sliding back. Okay? The hook I passed around before, you can do this in two steps. You could, instead of, instead of having a, a ball here, I like to pre-make them with either line or epoxy or, or, or like John said, you can use solder if you want to add more weight to it. But I just pre-make them. You can do it with the line and make a ball and then tie it like that. But I just do it like that. The hard part is, where do you want the, eel, where do you want the hook to come out of, out of the eel's body? So if you look at the bottom of an eel, I might be a little anal when it comes to this, but it has line, it has wrinkles on it. There's wrinkles under his neck. You look for the middle wrinkle. That means you're in the middle of the eel's head. So you say, where do you, where do you want it to come out? And usually it's somewhere between his fins here. So you say, okay, I want it to come out right about there, right? Can I see the wrinkles? Yeah, nice. you see the wrinkles there? Okay. Why in the middle? You can see the middle right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. be the middle, right? So I want it to come out right about there. So what I do is I'll puncture a hole. And it's usually... Right between his, his fin, his, his uh, pick, whatever fins they are. So I'll punch a hole in the middle of the eel, right, right in that spot. That's my hole. Now I gotta find that spot going into the mouth. So I go to the mouth, and I come out that hole that I just punctured in there. That's there. Got it? That's the front hook. Now, the key is, you can't make this too tight where, it's, where, where this thing is like this. It has to be straight or even loose, but not too tight. So with that said, you get this line and you measure it. And the way you measure it is this. You put the hook where you think it should be, like that. You pull this up taut. And I got, see my fingers right here? See my finger right there? I'm measuring it. That's where I want, see that? 
Yeah. That's where I want to tie my line. So you get the head out of the way. And with that said, make a couple of hitches, half hitches around here. Right ahead. You'll need a lot. The back hook is all bullshit. The back hook is mostly for a keel. If you get a fish on it, okay, you know, big deal. But, uh, you know, I like the back hook. It, it swims better. And if a bluefish is going to tear it up, I might, maybe I get a shot at catching the son of a gun, you know? One bluefish, he thought he's away. That's it. A couple times, that's all you got to do. Not a big deal. That's it. Done. Okay. Cut it. Now, here's the hard part. Would you can you do the knot that I showed you, right? That's where, that's where we did it for years. That's the way we did it. And then I started sending with line, with the wax cord, the needle through the eyes and tying it and tying it and tying it. And that worked great. That worked great. Then I discovered twist tie. Holy moly. Shoot. Changed the whole game. So with that, get the needle, puncture the yard, go to one eye and out the other. All right? Get a twist eye. Stick it through. It's a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah? Oh, the time saver. It's a wonderful thing. Oh. Now you, have to, you have to get your wife or your spouse to hold it straight. Wife, your girlfriend, or your boyfriend, whatever the case may be. Hold the stray. Who's getting this seal anyway? Floyd, you getting this seal? Come over here, Floyd. Put your finger here. Come in, right? You're real. You're real, right? <laughs> You're real. You want to hold the hook straight? No, no. Get it straight. Let go. You're fucking it all. Get out of here. <laughs> That's one. That's the really bottom part of it. Now you got to do another one for the top part of the head. Piece of cake, man. These make these make life so much easier, man. Go through the eye again. Same way? Huh? Or does it matter? If I go through the other way? Second for the second one. Whatever force you put. Because the skin is pretty tough, and it can take it, right? What? The skin is pretty tough. You can take this. Yeah, it's like leather, yeah. It's great. Without my help. You said top part of the head, bottom part of the head. Were you talking about either side of the mouth? Excuse me? What, what, what do you mean top part of the head, bottom part of the I'm just trying to secure the head to the ears. Why two? Why not just one? You uh, can't do one, but it's just, it's, yeah, no, you can't do one. Yeah, yeah one is fine. Didn't you get the part that he said he was anal about it? Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'll leave it like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, the, that's the front hook. Now, the back hook. Little, little wax cord. <coughs> and here's where guys spend a lot of time, and I don't see why. It's like, who cares, man? It's the back hook. Who gives a shit? I don't care about that. They do this, they sew it up, they, they could do a surgery. Just put a damn knot in there, be done with it. How many fish do you get on the back hook? Uh, out of ten, one. So, but I, I, I caught a 24 inch fish on a 17 inch eel, so you tell me how, how, these, how effective these are. <coughs> Serious question, when do you break the spine? You just do this, you rub it. No, not how, when. What, no, you, do do it yeah, you, yeah, you do it before? Oh, another thing, when you're fishing them and they're kind of like frozen, or like, like, not really like this, don't throw it yet, because you give the fish, sometimes fish take one look, and that's it. So if, the, if it's not right, and you show it to them, and it ain't right, you, you miss the shot. Make sure it's really defrosted like this, and then take your, then take your cast. It's like they get one shot at it, and that's the end of it. Now, with that said, if you look here through the skin, you can see the eye of the hook. See it? Here? See the ring? You're, you're, all, you're yep. all bullshit. I see. Put the needle through it. <laughs> now, do I got it? Yeah, I do have it, right? I got it. I'm gonna go right through. So you're harpooning the eyes that you're doing. No, I'm going through the eye. Now I want to make. I want to. I want to secure this hook both sides of this eye like this. 
and over here. 